no matter what happens next, the galaxy still needs its guardians. Oh, I feel uh, great about it. It's like, oh, finally over. You know what I mean? Uh, I feel emo it's emotional. It's po it's a it's a we're all very lucky. We all feel grateful. It's a lot to process, and so I'm going. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Ex it really embrace all of the, all of the feelings involved because I don't want to miss out. I don't want to one day look back and think, wow, I was so busy I didn't feel what I was feeling. And I, so I'm feeling it all. I get to see it when I'm when I'm doing ADR. I get to see so much of the special effects already completed. So it's always a real treat for me to come into that uh, to the ADR studio and breathe the last bit of life into the character. I think we feel sad, but I feel extremely grateful to have worked with such incredible people and to have brought this uh, James Gunn's vision to life. Uh, it's very rare, you know, for movies um, of this scale to have the same director to, uh, to write and direct three movies and to, um, to have the, such an interesting arc of every character, you know? And I had so much fun playing Mentes because she started one way and then she developed and she developed. And in the third movie, if you see it, you see how stronger she is, how more self-confident and how still insane she is, you know, but in a beautiful way. So it was so much fun to do that. Dave is the best. He's, uh, he's so funny. He's so kind. He's such a stand-up man. I know that if, if everything goes to shit, he's the one you want to be with, you know, if it's the apocalypse. He's gonna fight, you know, so that's yes. great too. <laughs> that's what you mean. No, but he's, he's very kind and we have so much fun playing Drax and Mantis together. I just always was planning on it being three films and I was always planning on this story really being the story of Rocket. And I knew that um, to fulfill that story, I really needed to go back to where he started to get to the end of the story. We need to go back to the beginning and that's what we did. Well, I think it's, it's about. It's not necessarily a balance. It's just that every single uh, you know thing in a movie it has the best way you can do it. And sometimes it's CGI. Sometimes it's practical effects. Sometimes it's makeup. And something. Sometimes it's somewhere in between. So it really depends on what you're trying to get, on what you need to use. I loved it. I love. I, we do. We see Peter in a in a more emotional way. And for me, it was a real challenge. And I I embrace that. I, I love the opportunity to try to do something a little different. You know, this is the third time I played this character, so. It it was nice to try and do it in a way that was different than the previous times and uh, it's a more emotional movie and um, I think the audiences who are you know kids or young teens when it, when the first one came out are, are a little older now and they're ready for it so it's exciting. 